Researchers at the University of Colorado's Center for Lifelong Learning and Design are developing cognitive levers, tools to help people help themselves. The goal of the Cognitive Levers Project is to improve the quality of life for people with disabilities by increasing their level of empowerment, socialization, inclusion, and learning, all of which lead to greater independence and self-confidence. This is a story about how a woman with disabilities and her mother use technology to become more active in the community. Amy is a 26-year-old woman with developmental disabilities. Currently, she is living at home and is frustrated with her lack of independence and social opportunities. Amy's mother, Nancy, is frustrated with her daughter's inability to learn to use the bus. Being Amy's only source of transportation has become increasingly difficult, and Nancy is exhausted trying to keep up with Amy's needs while caring for the rest of her responsibilities. This has led Nancy to approach Amy's vocational counselor in search of advice. Amy's vocational counselor, Pat, is part of a large community of other vocational counselors who use an online support tool called Web Together. After making a few inquiries, Pat finds two people working with clients that have abilities similar to Amy's. Pat gets some recommendations from the others on what has and has not worked well for their clients. Nancy is excited about the possibilities of Procton Systems, but she has tried many things in the past that have required a great deal of effort to learn and have only provided minimal benefit. To address this problem, Pat recommends an evaluation tool that will help determine if prompting systems are right for Amy and if so, how to best configure them to suit Amy's needs. The first step for Nancy is to tell the system about Amy. Often, non-experts do not know which information is most important when assessing technology options. The evaluation assistant solicits relevant information about Amy's cognitive, sensory, and physical abilities, as well as personality quirks. It informs Nancy that location-aware prompting tools could be useful for Amy and recommends specific configuration choices that might work best. It is now time for Nancy to write her first prompting script, a series of visual and audio cues that will help Amy to complete her task. Amy often requests that her mother take her to the rec center where her friends hang out. Nancy decides that this would be a highly motivating activity in which to teach Amy about her new system. Nancy goes to her computer and begins to develop her script. The system guides Nancy in developing an appropriate step-by-step -step set of instructions from a shared repository of pictures and auditory prompts. Once completed, it is loaded onto Amy's handheld device and is ready to use. When Nancy is done, she walks through the script with Amy and shows her how to use her new handheld device. Amy is now ready for her first trip by herself. She begins by selecting an activity she would like to perform. In this case, she selects going to the rec center. The handheld device reminds Amy to bring her purse with her bus pass. $5 for the entrance fee, and her house keys. Then it helps her find the correct bus stop. The system uses location-aware and wireless technologies to track Amy and the buses. Once Amy reaches the bus stop, the system informs her that she is at the right stop and that she will need to wait six minutes for her bus to arrive. Soon, two buses arrive, and Amy is confused at first. The system is able to discern which is the correct bus and tells her which bus she needs to board. When Amy approaches her destination, she is reminded to pull the stop cord and prepare to disembark. Amy successfully arrives at the rec center and meets her friends. Meanwhile, Nancy has been using Lifeline to monitor her daughter's progress. Through Lifeline, Nancy sees that the bus was a little late but that Amy arrived to the rec center successfully. The systems being developed by the Clever Project will allow Amy to travel independently while also giving her mother some peace of mind that Amy is safely having fun. For more information about these and other projects, please check our website.